Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we're watching The Amazing Spider-Man. Before we hop on into the movie, let's have a word from today's sponsor, Warby Parker. Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores by providing eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and contact lenses. I'm slightly nearsighted, so when I'm going to see a play or a concert, I need to wear glasses to make sure that I don't miss a moment of a performance. But like my eye prescription, my style tends to change a bit over time, so I love that Warby Parker offers a free home try-on program so that I can test out all sorts of frames. I actually purchased this pair of glasses from Warby Parker around two years ago, I want to say, and they've held up incredibly well. I had them made with special blue light lenses in them so that I can wear them while watching a movie, while scrolling on my phone, or while I'm editing, and I absolutely love them. You can order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days, and there's no obligation to buy. Everything ships for free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. And if you do decide to buy, glasses start at $95, and that's including prescription lenses. To try five pairs of glasses at home for free, just go to warbyparker.com slash natalie or click the link in my description. Thank you so much to Warby Parker for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now let's get back on into the video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. You. Yes, you. Hello, you. Thank you to all of y'all who have subscribed, who've stuck around, who've watched these movies and shows with me. You guys make this community so fun to be a part of, and this channel would not be half of what it is without folks like you. So thank you so much, and welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are ya? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these videos, maybe consider clicking that little red button below to subscribe. We definitely have a lot of fun over here, and I'd really appreciate it. We've now reached the next series of movies. Instead of just regular Spider-Man, it's now The Amazing Spider-Man. And instead of Tobey Maguire, we now have Andrew Garfield. I personally really like Tobey as Peter Parker, but I'm interested to see how Andrew plays Spider-Man, how he plays Peter Parker. I think I actually have seen this first movie, this one that we're watching here today. I think I saw it in theaters when it came out, if I'm not mistaken. I do remember going to theaters. I do remember seeing Andrew Garfield playing Peter Parker. I vaguely remember the origin story, and I definitely remember Emma Stone in the movie, but I couldn't really tell you how it differs from the last Spider-Man series we just watched, the original Sam Raimi trilogy. It doesn't really stick out in my mind as anything that memorable because it was so long ago. I only watched it in theaters and I really truly don't remember a lot of it. So I think it'll be a fun ride today to see what this movie is like because I really don't remember what I thought of it coming out of the theaters. I think there were originally supposed to be three of these films. I think it was supposed to be a trilogy, but they never ended up making the third film. I believe that's what I heard. So I think there's only two of this series that we have to watch. And I think at that point, we'll technically be ready for No Way Home, or I'll be ready for No Way Home, rather. You guys probably have seen all these movies already. <laughs> I may or may not end up watching Venom before I get to No Way Home, too, just because why not? I have actually been wanting to check out Venom for a little while, but that depends on when No Way Home is released. I don't really have a lot of expectations for this film. I do see that it was made quite a fair bit after the Sam Raimi trilogy. I think this movie was made around 2012, 2012. So I expect the graphics and the CGI to be a little bit better, but that's kind of it. I don't really have any expectations for how it was directed, how it was made. I see that this film was directed by Mark Webb, which I think is funny, because Webb, Spider-Man, webs, you know, haha. <laughs> punny. Anyway, I'm interested to see what he does with this movie, what the actors do, what the writing style is like, how it differs maybe from Sam Raimi's trilogy, which was very stylized. I think Sam did a great job with his trilogy. I had a lot of fun with it. Even the super hammy, cheesy stuff that maybe wasn't done as well was still really enjoyable and still fun to watch all these years later. And I think that's a testament to how Sam directed that trilogy. So I'm curious to see what this movie is like in tone in comparison to the previous trilogy. I've also heard from people that they tend to think that Andrew Garfield plays a better Spider-Man while Toby tends to play a better Peter Parker. I've heard people say that Tom Holland is like the perfect mix of the two. So I've seen Tom Holland 
I've seen Toby's Spider-Man, his Peter Parker. I have technically seen this movie that we're about to watch here with Andrew Garfield, but I really don't remember it. So I'm kind of going into this imagining like it's a blank slate. I don't really know what to expect and I'm excited to see what Andrew does with it. And with all that being said, I think we should just hop on into it and see what this movie is like. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Is this like little kid Peter Parker? Why do I feel like something really sad is about to happen? I just have a bad feeling right now. Ooh, okay, that whoever's playing hide and seek with him is smart. He's playing hide and seek with his dad. I just know that Peter doesn't, he's taken care of by his aunt and uncle. So like, are these gonna be his parents that we're gonna see? And like, are they dead? I'm just nervous. Like, yep, yep. Listen, whenever I see a little kid and the music is like sentimental and kind of ominous, I'm like, something bad's gonna happen. Dad! Oh, his dad is here. Oh no, oh no. What does his dad do for a living? Oh, he's got a secret compartment. Is he like a spy? Oh, he's got to erase the board. Oh, he was studying spiders. Oh, you guys are gonna die. I'm nervous for them. Is that Martin Sheen? That looks like Martin Sheen. It is Martin Sheen. Oh, <gasps> Sally. You're gonna stay with Aunt May and Uncle Ben for a little while. Oh, it's Uncle Ben and Aunt May. Oh, Martin Sheen is Uncle Ben? Be good. No, this is the last time you're gonna see him. No, that's so sad. Good morning, Parker. The reason Andrew Garfield isn't as believable as Peter Parker is because he's hot. Like he's very attractive, stereotypically. Parker? Also, he skateboards. He's like a cool, he's like a cool Peter Parker. He skateboards, what the hell? He's cool. He's just angsty and misunderstood, you know? Oh, there's Emma Stone looking straight up out of like, her costume is just so stereotypically like anime schoolgirl. <laughs> Gwen, right? Gwen Stacy. I watched a guy in my, wait, oh, Gwen Stacy. Like the blonde Gwen in Spider-Man 3, except instead of college, this is high school. Huh, so that's not Mary Jane. Ben Parker, don't you even think about leaving that filthy box in my kitchen. Oh guys, I don't want Martin Sheen to die. <laughs> I really don't want Martin Sheen to die. I love Martin Sheen. You mom, put this on your face. Is that a piece of steak he just had in his hand? I've never seen anybody like actually put raw meat on their face like that. I've seen like frozen peas or frozen corn. I've never seen anybody just literally put a piece of frozen raw meat on their face. I've only seen it in like movies. I bet it's his parents stuff. Look at the way that angelic light is shining on it. It's gotta be something from his parents. Yep, it's his dad's briefcase, isn't it? I wonder if like the origin story for him is different in this one. Like if it's still that he gets bitten on a field trip because his dad was researching spiders. He saw it in the window of a leather shop over on 9th Avenue. And guess who sold it to him? Your mother. Oh, that's how they met? Oh. Who's that? <gasps> what is it? Do you know who that is? Oh, is that Osborne? Does she not know? She looks like she knows. They know, they both know. Oscorp! It is Oscorp. They had lab coats on. So it was kind of easy. I was like, it's either Oscorp or a different scientist. He's trying on his dad's glasses to see if they match the prescription. I bet they will, even though that's not typically how your eyes work. Like if your eyes are already as bad as your dad's were in his middle age, that's rough for you, dude. Something your mom and I have to do. Oh God, what was it? And he left your glasses behind? Didn't you need to see? Maybe he had another, another pair, I guess. I don't know. Kurt Connors. That's the name of the guy in the picture with you. So I guess his name is Kurt Connors. It's not Osborne. She's pretty. Oh my God, ew, ew, that's so weird. That's his background on his screen. That's so weird, I'm sorry. You're a pretty great dad, right? Oh, that's really sweet. Well, he's already a lot nicer to his Uncle Ben than uh, Toby's Peter Parker was to his Uncle Ben. I wonder what the villain in this movie is gonna be. I imagine it would be Kurt Connors, but I wonder what he would become. Splice of life. Intern enrollment now closed, flashing on the screen. Oh, I bet you'll become an intern, don't worry. Somehow. You are here for the internship. Yes. Okay, you find your badge to the left. Oh, is he gonna take someone else's badge? They just do it by the honor system? Yeah, I got it. Rodrigo. Gracias. De nada. They d it's just by the trust system, so poor Rodrigo doesn't have a spot in the internship anymore? The f man. Welcome to Oscorp. My name's Gwen Stacy. I'm a senior at Midtown Science, and I'm also head intern to Dr. Connors. She just happens to work here too. Well, the Gwen Stacy in this movie is a lot smarter than the Gwen Stacy in the la in the Spider-Man 3. Yeah, I feel really bad for Rodrigo. Poor dude, just lost his internship for no reason. Good afternoon, Gwen. Dr. Connors. 
Oh, is Dr. Connors the other guy missing the arm in, in the other Spider-Man trilogy? The teacher? It's a lot of crossover. It's very confusing. It's like, it's like different realities, you know? I oh. want to create a world without weakness. Oh, I'm sure your aspirations are... But the solution I'm thinking of is more radical. Of course it's more radical. I'm sure your aspirations come from a positive place, bro, but, but I'm sure it will become a villainous downfall. Uh, and you are? He's one of Midtown Science's best and brightest. Really? Mm. He's second in his class. Oh. Second? Yeah. Ha! You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Second. Because she's first, you know? She's like, mm, you're second. I know. So I'm going to ask you more about this later. Do not get me in trouble. Just stay close, Peter. Why is he not staying close? Why is he already not sticking with the group? Peter. Oh, he's going to follow this guy? Oh my god. He's going to get Gwen in trouble. The one thing she asked you not to do. Are these all spider webs? Ah, they are. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, this is my nightmare. Not, no, 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 I really, ooh, I don't like, how oh, I don't like it. It's too many spiders. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, God. I hate it. Why are they all just falling off? Why are they all just falling off their, their things? Ew, 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 ew. Yeah, that's a horrific nightmare. Peter, what do you think you're, what do you think you're gonna do in here? Oh, she gonna kill you, Peter. You left the group. All right, give me that. No. That's fair. Ah. That's kind of funny that that spider bite happened the moment he was handing the badge over. It's like, you can't be an intern because you're going to be a superhero. <laughs> no, he's having his whole transformative experience here on the subway. Oh, well, he transformed very quickly. Get your hand off her. He's clearly trying. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm sorry. Honestly, number two, this is all your fault. You guys are a bunch of losers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> He's just apologizing the whole time. That's really funny. He transformed very quickly, just from a nap. He looks fine. Toby was like sweating and having withdrawals. I know, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Watch out, it's a fly. That's a fly, Peter. <laughs> she said what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, he doesn't look so good anymore. Never mind. he does look like he's sick. <laughs> I take it all back. Drinking? Yeah, that's what I would think. I would think weed or something, except he's sweating a lot, like. <laughs> What is he doing? He can't act normal. The spider left a web stuck in that bite? That's so weird. Was there just webs coming out of that hole? What the f Oh no, the spider's still there. The spider would've been chilling there the whole time. He broke his clock. He's too strong. He's breaking everything. Peter. Oh my God. He is like so sensitive right now. Is this just like his spider sense or something? Or is he still losing it? What? He found his address. You're stalking him. I'm Richard Parker's son. Oh, sh he dropped the bomb. Say it worked. Say you, you, you got it to work. Like how much would the foreign species take over? <laughs> it's like hypothetically, if it happened. It's hard to say considering no subject survived. Oh, that's terrifying to hear. Extraordinary. How did you come up with this? Stole it from his daddy, or, or did he figure it out from his dad's notes? I don't, I can't read any of this shit, so I don't know. Peter, how would you feel about coming to see me at the tower one day after school? <laughs> you just got yourself a job, son. It's interesting, he just wants to do this so badly because he wants his right arm back. It's like, man, this whole time you could have just learned to live your life just a little differently, or even with like a prosthetic arm or something. I know it wouldn't be the same thing, but no reason to put your life on hold. One sec. Put, give it, yeah, hold my camera. <laughs> Don't let me break this. <laughs> Why did you take it from me? <laughs> this is kind of cute. I like that instead of just like beating him up, we're just playing basketball. You know, this is like more cute. I bring it, come on, Parker, come on. Okay, well that's called traveling, Parker, but all right. Is this girl's bubble gum gonna pop? Oh, dude, you broke the f***ing hoop. They're not gonna make oh, just unacceptable. It was one accident. Listen, your backboard was weak, son. Did you humiliate that boy? Wait, so Peter's getting in trouble just for teasing Flash when Flash literally beats kids up at school. So all this was about getting even. Uncle Ben, all he did was tease it. Wait, okay, I'm sorry now. We're not allowed to tease kids at school, but Flash is allowed to literally beat the 
fucked out of people. Thanks to this little escapade of yours, I had to change shifts at work, so you have to pick up Aunt well, May tonight. Well, now I do feel really bad for Uncle Ben. But I also think that, like, calling in his parents for, like, a junior or senior in high school over this bullshit is ridiculous. She's the girl on your computer. He's got you on his computer. Oh, Uncle... I'm his probation officer. Uncle Ben! Uncle Ben! Savage! What a savage! Oh, no! Oh, no, that's so bad to say. Um, so, uh, you want to, uh, I don't know. Hang out? Say it, Peter. It's not that hard. Look at him. Look at him smoldering there. Like, this is why he's not a dorky Peter Parker, because, like, his awkward look is, like, him smoldering sexily at you. We're trying to harness this capability and transfer it into our host subject, Freddy, the three-legged mouse. Oh, I'm worried. It's gonna hurt Freddy. What's gonna happen to Freddy? I don't want to see Freddy. You need to take that. He's gonna say no, but... Ben is gonna die soon, and you're not gonna pick up Aunt May, and I'm worried. Pending. Peptide algorithm accepted. Regrowth complete. Wow. Then regeneration successful. Watch them walk away, and then it, the computer system be like, actually, failure. Higher measures of aggression and, and violence in this subject. Meet Fred and Wilma. Fred and Wilma. Oh, no, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. Oh, I don't want to see a rat get hurt. But your father lived by a philosophy, a principle, really. He believed that that if you could do good things for other people, you had a moral obligation to do those things. That's what's at stake here. Not choice, responsibility. It's all well and good, so where is he? Oh, come on, how dare you? How dare I? How dare you? It's interesting. I feel like in this scenario... Oh, Jesus. I feel like in this scenario, like, Uncle Ben's lecture, like, bringing his father into it actually was kind of unnecessary. Like, you could have just said, you let us down, like, you put your aunt in danger, you weren't there for us, you weren't responsible and dependable, like, we can't trust you, like, you need to be better. He didn't need to, like, bring his dad into it, but I'm sure that this is the last conversation he'll have with Uncle Ben, you know what I mean? Oh, he's going out looking for him. Oh, that's what's gonna happen. Oh, no. Uncle Ben, you really shouldn't be going out looking for him. This is so bad. Really? Oh, here, oh, and now we're gonna have the other robbery scenario and he's just gonna let it go and this guy's gonna kill Uncle Ben. Oh, okay. So we are having the same, we are having the same scenario play out. Hey kids, little help. Not my policy. Oh, instead of, instead of the other line, uh. I missed the part where that's my problem. Ben, Ben, no. Oh my God, really? Over beer and some cash? Over beer and some cash. Oh my God. Yep. Oh no, Martin Sheen, no. At least in this version, like Peter didn't immediately go chase after him. It was just like the guy got away, which is kind of more realistic, you know? Oh, he wants the sketch. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe he will go after him. He has a star tattooed on his left hand. What witnesses would have caught that except for like Peter? I guess the cashier guy might have. Who's he calling? Peter. I know things have been difficult lately. Oh, he left him a voicemail. Oh, so sad, man. I will say Andrew Garfield is giving me like a lot more heartbreak. He's just really grounded in drama. Oh, is, he is gonna go after this guy, yeah. Oh, no. You like beating on girls? You like beating on old men? Oh, he found him really fast. Oh, look, he's got a matching beanie. Is this where he's gonna learn that he can like fly from buildings more or like oh crawl in buildings yeah 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 this is where he's gonna learn that oh i will say it never really makes sense that he can do it with his sneakers oh at least his sneakers are kind of slipping i guess Come on! Oh! is he in a wrestling ring what the heck oh <laughs> is this where he's gonna get the mask idea from it's always initiated from the wrestling thing that's so funny i guess that would make sense since wrestlers wear like all these costumes and stuff Wow, so this whole becoming Spider-Man is really stemmed from him searching for his uncle's killer, which I think is a more powerful motivation than like the previous Spider-Man where like Toby just wanted to make some money wrestling and then like tried to be good because those were his uncle's last words. He's got to build a whole suit now, yeah. Everything. Spandex. Spandex. Yeah, yeah, it's all spandex, bro. Oh, look at this, we're seeing his point of view, fun. I always love that every Peter Parker is like also really good at like designing their own costume. The only one who wasn't was Tom Holland's. Tom Holland was more realistic because he couldn't design his own costume and then Tony made one for him. These guys are just like freaking talented at sewing on top of being super smart. Just let me go. Is that a knife? Is that a okay. real knife? Yes, it's a real knife. My weakness. It's small knife. My weakness. <laughs> 
Oh, he's so good at Spider-Man. He's so sassy and funny. Where were you? I was out. Did you get the eggs? No, I bet he didn't. I bet he didn't. And may please, please, please go to sleep. I can't sleep. Don't you understand? I can't sleep. Yeah, of course she can't sleep when she's worried sick about you, bro. Stop worrying your Aunt May, Peter. It's not cool. Freddy regrowed his arm. It did work. Something's gotta go wrong. Uh, but he doesn't have time for every little step. Every little step, what? You wanna just jump straight to humans? You wanna jump straight to no Norman? You have to start human trials now. Now? This guy is stupid. Say goodbye to that arm you have dreamed of. I'm shutting you down. That's horrible. Have your office cleared out by the morning. By the morning, wow. Yeah, they were funding everything. Uh, having your integrity as a scientist, I think, is more important. I, but it, it does suck when, like, you're going to have everything ripped out from underneath you. You can come to this address at, uh, at 8 o'clock tonight. My mom's making brands, you know. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah, you can stop hunting down your uncle's killer for five minutes to hang out with a friend. I remember it. Aww. He better not diss her and not show up. He's imagining having his other arm back so badly. He's gonna let it get in the way and he's gonna be the human test subject, isn't he? Before they're ready for it. Oh no. So in this Spider-Man universe, I wonder if he's gonna be the Green Goblin or just a version of the Green Goblin trying to help Norman Osborn, but really for himself. It's just, it just seems like it's all similar, but it's different, you know? It's interesting. You have your suit in there? My suit? It's for dinner. Are you gonna, are you gonna wear that? Oh no. That's, um, hey, that's... Uh-oh. See, this already looks really bad for you. Oh, it's the police chief. That's hysterical. Oh, right. Gwen's dad is the police chief. Right. This looks really bad for you because you're just in their room. Are they going out to dinner? I thought her, his, her mom was making dinner. Why does he have to wear a suit? You have to wear a suit at home for dinner? <gasps> oh, he grew an arm, but it's different. Oh, it looks weird already. <gasps> yeah, it's worse than you could have imagined, man. Look at this. Oh, is it an encasing? Why does it look like a f exoskeleton? Ew, 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 ew. Holy, oh, because it's reptilian, whoa. Ew, oh, hair and makeup had to do a lot here. Oh, it's nasty looking. This is really disturbing. Ew, I mean, I'm happy for you, but it's freaking me out. Okay, you want me to take the tunnel or the bridge? Bridge, take the bridge, just drive. Oh my God, he's becoming a reptilian so fast. Ew, he's gonna become like a reptile. He's hunting down a bunch of criminals that all look the same, like he's got some sort of personal vendetta. Yeah, he does. But he's not protecting innocent people. You're right. You're actually right, and he does need to hear this because he, he shouldn't be having a personal vendetta against blondes. He needs to let his, he needs to let, you know, his vengeance go. I'm sorry, but you know I thought he was gonna arrest me at one point. Nah, I wouldn't have let him arrest you. I would be like, why are you poking the bear so much already? This is probably a red flag for me. But instead she wants to kiss him probably. It's about the, the vigilante and the car thief, all right? Oh, okay. Oh, she was like ready to kiss you, bro. I, I wish I could just, I can't, it's hard to say. <laughs> He's so mysterious and angsty. She's like, what is, what dude? <laughs> just kiss me, what the f is happening? <laughs> you could have just, oh, he's showing her, holy f He's showing her, he has the blasters on right now? He has the blasters on right now at dinner. I thought he had a short sleeve shirt on. When? They don't stop. They didn't stop kissing when they heard their, her mother yelling, really? Gwen, I'm coming. If my mom caught me doing that, oh, I would have been in so much trouble. This girl got off easy. He's gonna ditch right now. Oh, I'm in trouble. He's just gonna ditch them right now. What is her mother gonna think? She's gonna be like, where did he go? I didn't see him leave out the front door. He's not doing very well pleasing her family. Spidey, do you have your mask on? Oh my God, he's a full-blown reptile already. I feel really bad for Dr. Connors, you know? Oh, he's got his suit on. He just is ready to go at all times, I see. Somebody help! Help me, my kid is trapped! Of course, of course. He wants to go after the reptilian thing, but you gotta save the kid. It's okay, we've got the rest of the movie to go after Dr. Connors. I feel so bad for him. Seeing him turn into a full-blown dinosaur is really creepy. Just a normal guy, right? Hold my mask. All right, what's your name? Do we have time for this conversation, Peter? Let's hurry up. You see how easy that was? Uh-huh, I'm nervous. Why is it, oh, the oil, the car. Hurry up, Peter, hurry up. Oh, kid, you gotta climb. Kid, come on. I can't. Yes. You can. Jack, little kid, hurry up. P put it on, the mask. <laughs> yeah, we have time for this. <laughs> it's gonna, just do it quick, Jack. Oh my God. This is a really sweet moment though. Hurry up, Jack. 
Hurry up. You better save this kid. This little kid can't die. This little kid can't die. Hurry up. Hurry up. This is the first time he's tried to save people. Use your other web. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Okay. I don't know how you're going to get out of this scenario, but <laughs> just, oh, he can retract the web. That's good. That is very convenient. Jesus Christ, Jack. Look at him just shedding his exoskeleton over and over. What's happening? Oh, he's back to normal. He's back to normal. So it's temporary? Oh, wow. Poor Dr. Connors. Holy I am issuing an arrest warrant for the masked vigilante known as Spider-Man. What? Aunt May is like, what's in him? Why does he not like that news? Is she gonna put two and two together? I would love it if Aunt May figures it out in this movie. I also think it's so ballsy that Peter told Gwen immediately who he was, given who her dad is. He just trusts her completely right away because he likes her. <laughs> Who tried to hit them with the Peter, man, you just freaking the school doesn't have enough funding, bro. Stop. <laughs> You're destroying all the sports equipment. There's a rumor of a new species in New York. Beautiful and quite large. Beautiful. No one's calling it beautiful, sir. I hate to break it to you. But it can be aggressive. Uh-huh. So he just became evil. Is he going to put, can you put it together, man? Did you get it? Oh, what is it? Fred. Freddy Wilma! I didn't like that! I didn't need that! Fred became a reptilian and ate Wilma! So they just become dinosaurs. Jesus Christ. What is with all these lizards all over the city? I, I'm telling you, you never see lizards like this ever in New York. That's not a thing. So where are they coming from? He's forming a web in the middle here, okay. What's he doing? Is he trying to track movement? from one of the lizard wires, or the, one of the webs, I guess. It's like in Jurassic Park, when you look at the water moving in the glass, the droplets as the T-Rex is stomping closer. It's like that. Oh, they're little lizards? What the f What the hell? Oh, they're all going that way. What, can they like sense? It's like their mother lizard, they're, oh no, there he is. Oh God. Oh, he had a camera. Oh, smart. Oh God, ew, 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 gross, gross, gross. I don't wanna see what's in the water. That is gross. Gross New York water. No, thank you. Oh no. Ah! Okay, thank God. Okay, oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. That That's really terrifying to have that coming after you underwater. Uh-oh, you're not gonna get your camera back. Oh no. That's a shame. That's a real shame. You lost your film and your camera. No, dad, I do not want Coco. Honestly, I'm 17 years old. Okay, I just thought I remembered somebody saying last week that her fantasy was to live in a chocolate house. Well, that's impractical. And fattening. <laughs> Can't you be nice to your dad? He was so cute and charming about it. That was so cute. Sorry, dad. Thank you. Thank you for apologizing. Doing this, um, I have the, I have cramps. Oh. Smart. Smart, take the period tactic. That will shut every man down, smart. Like usually though, when you're on your period, you do want hot cocoa, you do want chocolate, and also you wouldn't be wearing a white dress, but he's a man, so he doesn't know. I'm happy that she apologized to her dad though, because he really did nothing wrong. He was really cute in that moment. That changing like the snake, I might be free to cast off flesh wherein I dwell confined. Would you give it all up? After all you know you can do. He's having a Jekyll and Hyde moment himself. What the f I can save them! Oh no! He want he does want to do the whole dispersing a, a cloud over New York City. I think he does want to do that because he said I can save them. I think he wants to do that. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's coming to school? Are you kidding me? Oh no, this poor school has really been put through the ringer. He really does always have the blasters on. That's good, I guess. Oh God, but you can never wear a short sleeve shirt! Oh God, this school really needs more funding. First, Peter destroyed all their sports equipment. Now this guy's destroying the physical school and the bathrooms. There's no need to stop me, Peter. I will say the the whole like, the way this reptile looks and talks is so funny. His face is a little too human with the rest of his body. It's weird. Are you? Ah! Tear off his tail. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. I don't like watching that. No, 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 no. He really regrows stuff quite fast. Stan Lee is a music teacher here. Not his library. Not his library. Oh, no. Maybe this just was the library and he was a teacher. That was so cute. Did he go down into the sewer? Yeah, he did. Peter, turn off your phone. Oh, he found his lab. 
This is a cool set. I'm not gonna lie. This is fun. I could imagine like a ride taking place like in a sewer like this, like a like a mock sewer at a, a theme park and passing a lab like this. It's fun. This is my gift to you. You're gonna unwillingly turn everybody into reptiles. What if we like being feeble-minded, weak humans, bro? I personally like being a human and I don't wanna be a dinosaur. I love dinosaurs, so don't get me wrong, but I don't wanna be a dinosaur. They were wiped out for a reason, okay? He just gassed them all. Oh no, are they all gonna become reptiles? How is Peter gonna do this? Oh no, oh no. For once I feel bad for the NYPD. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, oh, I actually, that really sucks. Oh my God. It's so not consensual, bro. I'm gonna get everybody out. Did you hear her? Gwen. She's gonna get everybody out? What does she mean I'm gonna get everybody out? Oh, of the building. Oh, there's people working there. What a little bad She's a bad Yes, Gwen. Yes, ma'am. Oh no. Oh no. You guys are hunting the wrong guy. They're probably gonna like try to arrest him and then they're gonna realize like the police chief is gonna realize that his daughter is in trouble or something and Spider-Man is the only one who can help. Oh my God, he moved so fast. Wow, he just immobilized all of them so fast. He just broke out of the handcuffs? No! Oh, what a, what a dramatic reveal, wow. It's headed to Oscorp, and your daughter's there right now. He's being watched, though, by the people under him. It'd be weird if he lets you go. He's gonna have to, but this looks bad for him at the office, though. Hold your fire! Uh. Oh no, he got shot. Is he okay? Oh no. Oh no, he's bleeding. Oh, Gwen, I'm scared for you. Oh, the lights are flickering. That's not good. Oh, what a smarty cake. Smarty cake. I was gonna say smarty pants. I don't know why I said smarty cake. I'm coming up with words now. Oh, this is gonna be a horror movie for her now. Oh, oh, with the horror music, yep. Yep. Oh my God, he doesn't even care. He's unfazed. He didn't even care about her. He was just looking for his chemical that he wanted to get. He looks injured and it's really not clear if he's gonna make it. Oh, we're all watching Spider-Man too. That's so funny. Hey, you still friends with Matthews, that crane operator down the- Oh, are we gonna help him? Hell yeah, dude! Oh, all of them, all of them. Yeah. Aw, this is sweet, I like this. I like it when all of New York works to help Spider-Man. He's such like a hometown hero, you know? It's so sweet. Look, the helicopter's pointing it out for him. Oh, look at that. Come on, dude, run on it, you got to. Yeah! Oh, he's halting traffic for him. They're all working together. Yes, this is amazing. Your boyfriend is a man of many masks. I get it. Give me this. Oh, is he gonna do it? Get in the car. Oh, he's like, I'm not letting you do it. Oh. Please make sure he's okay. I would say, please be safe, dad. I love you. Tell him to be safe too. Oh God, I hope her dad doesn't die. Her dad's kind of cool, you know? I know he was like working against Spider-Man for a little bit there, but honestly, I would kind of be annoyed with Spider-Man too if I was in his position. Oh God, ah, I hate this dinosaur thing. He's so creepy and big. Poor Peter Parker. Yes, there's a lot of plosives in that sentence. We get it, sir. No father. Wow, you're really gonna taunt him with that information, you jackass? All alone. He's not alone. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, he shot that, smart. Yes, guys, look at that. Gift from Gwen. Nice! Look at this duo! Oh, so we can heal the cops. We can heal the people who've been affected by the reptilian fumes. Oh no, he's regrowing. No, Gwen's daddy, no! 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 Is he gonna die? No, he's cool! Oh, he did it. He did it. Oh, it's gonna heal him too, yeah. Right, right, nice, good job, Peter. It's a good thing that this antidote isn't gonna affect Peter, you know, cause he was bit by a spider. Can Gwen's dad be okay? Maybe save Spider-Man here? Oh, he did, Dr. Connors did. Wow, he saved him. These these villains in these Spider-Man movies really are like Jekyll and Hyde all the time. That is really their thing. It's just to write villains that are like Jekyll and Hyde. The captain. Yeah, did you kill him, bro? Please tell me he's gonna live. Oh no, it doesn't look like it. So I want you to promise me something, okay? What, don't hurt my daughter? Leave Gwen 
out of it. Yeah, I don't blame him for saying that. I don't blame him at all for saying that. Oh, that's a hard thing to promise. He, he died, no. I just kept like telling myself, no, he's gonna be fine, he's gonna survive, no. God damn it. Oh, oh, that was his dying wish too and you gave it to him. You gotta leave Gwen out of it. That's gonna make the next movie really sad because he's gonna leave Gwen out of it as per her dad's wishes, but then she also just lost her father. So she's probably gonna be like, Peter, why won't you talk to me anymore? Why won't you hang out with me? And it's gonna be like, well, your father told me not to, but also your father's dead and now, you're, now you've lost two men in your life. Sorry, bye. Like he's just lurking here at the funeral. You know, I understand why you gotta leave Gwen out of it, but like, can't you at least just come and support her for the funeral and then tell her you gotta ditch her? Like, why do these people who like, when they're trying to leave like the one they love out of it to protect them, they never like tell them why. They just give them the cold shoulder and ghost them. Like, can't you just tell her what's going on and be there for her at the funeral and then be like, it was your dad's dying wish. I have to let you go, I'm sorry. Like, that would be better than just ignoring her. My father died. Yeah. Helping you, Peter. Come on now. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't, um... What do you say? Just, just... I can't see you anymore. Tell her why, like, the honest reason. Don't make it, like, a breakup thing. It's just hurtful. For no reason. You know, they're gonna leave it hurtful. All right, that's Why does, why does Peter always suck? In every movie, Peter sucks. <laughs> you made you promise, didn't he? Oh, she gets it. She's smart. Okay. Yeah, she's so smart. She's with the program, man. Yeah, man, that's why you should have just told her. So come on home, Peter. You're my hero, and I love you. It's really nice and convenient that Uncle Ben left you such a thoughtful, detailed, sweet voicemail before his passing. I do save all my voicemails from loved ones, just in case. Is he gonna break his promise? Is he gonna break his di- like, her dad's dying wish? No? No, he's not. Okay, good. He probably will in the next movie, but maybe. Sorry, Miss Ritter won't happen again, I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep, Mr. Parker. Yeah, but those are the best kind. Oh, uh, that was a hint to her. Like he can't keep the promise he made to her dad. He's such a little shister. <laughs> Come on, I liked her dad. We, I mean, but also you gotta let them be who they're gonna be. They're old enough to like make their own mistakes. I understand why he wanted to protect his daughter though. Is this the doctor in jail? Wow, this is a very stylized shot. This bird's eye view on an angle. Did you tell the boy the truth about his father? No. No. You should leave him alone. Is he gone already? What the f What? So was that a man actually there in the cell with him? Because for a second, I thought maybe, oh, that's like a voice in his head. But then he was telling it to leave him alone. I don't know what that was. I don't know who that guy was. The truth about his father. Oh, boy. Maybe we'll find out in the next movie. If not, that's very unfortunate because there's only one more. Well, this was fun. It was definitely a different style than the Sam Raimi trilogy. I think the Sam Raimi trilogy of Spider-Man films is probably more funny. It felt more like a comic book trilogy to me where this kind of felt more grounded, even like they were trying to do an indie vibe at times. I think Andrew Garfield just gives off like an angsty indie vibe <laughs> a little bit. And some of the music choices they made too were a little bit more indie. It just kind of felt like more hip Peter Parker. <laughs> but it was fun. And uh, I really liked getting to see a female character alongside him that's not dumb. Because <laughs> as much as I love Kirsten Dunst, the character that she had to play was just insufferable. I mean, honestly... By the third movie, both Peter and Mary Jane were insufferable in Spider-Man 3. So it was nice getting to watch a movie where they weren't insufferable. <laughs> and uh, Gwen Stacy's character particularly is just very smart and sassy. And I enjoyed getting to see that. And that's how I feel about the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies too. Because MJ in those movies played by Zendaya is just really funny, sassy. She's smart. She's always with the program. So I, I like seeing female characters like that who aren't just super ditzy and kind of oblivious. It's funny because I know that I technically saw this movie in theaters, but I really don't remember any of it. <laughs> you, I, I feel like I'm pretty positive that I did see this in theaters, but uh, I think this is kind of like the Dark Knight scenario when I, one of those Dark Knight movies that I saw, I think it was like the last one that I had seen in theaters, but by the time I got around to watching it with you guys, I didn't remember any of it. It was kind of like that, except with this, I remember even less of it. So yeah, it was a fun ride. It felt like watching it for the first time. It's kind of cool to see all these characters played by different people and kind of 
a part of a timeline that just feels different. I think that's one thing I've kind of been more aware of since watching Into the Spider-Verse when all these different Spider-Man characters are coming in and they're all from these different timelines and hearing that there's going to be characters in No Way Home, knowing that Doctor Strange is in that movie because I've seen the trailer, it seems like that's kind of what they might be going for in that movie where there's maybe just different timelines all merging and different characters from these different movies coming in and we're playing it off like it's different universes. That's kind of what I imagine is going to happen or what I'd guess. And that's really what it feels like to watch this movie after watching the Sam Raimi trilogy because they they do feel like they're similar but different. The Gwen Stacy and the Tobey Maguire movies is very ditzy, just kind of naive, very sweet, but just kind of helpless. In this movie, she's a lot more capable, really smart, kind of a badass, just completely different. I would imagine that this is just like a different universe or a different timeline and uh i'm interested to see how all these characters factor into no way home i also saw a meme a little while back i tell you google just thinks that i'm obsessed with spider-man now because i watch it all the time and uh <laughs> it's problematic because google google the words google <laughs> really just keeps suggesting me stuff that's spider-man based and i don't want no way home to be spoiled so it's gotten harder because google wants to suggest me things it's not even like other people trying to spoil stuff for me. It's Google's fault. So it's been a challenge, but I did see a meme recently where all the three different Spider-Men and like how we can't make up our mind about who Spider-Man is. But then like J.K. Simmons is in every movie and I haven't seen J.K. Simmons in this movie. I don't think he was in it. So uh, I'm guessing he will be in the next one. I hope so. That would be very exciting. Love me some J.K. Simmons. I definitely think I agree with a lot of folks when they say that Toby plays a better Peter and Andrew plays a better Spider-Man. I mean, Andrew was just so sassy. The moment he had the suit on, it was just so funny and witty and quippy and just sassy and <laughs> fun to watch, really, as Spider-Man. So I definitely buy him a lot more as like this sassy, smart kind of hero guy. Uh, but I don't really buy him as like awkward dorky Peter at all. And I think they even had a hard time playing that off in this movie. Like he was really only awkward and dorky for like 10 minutes of the movie. And then he's cool and showing up Flash and then him and Flash are friends by the end. Like it's, we really moved on from him being a dork very fast because it didn't make sense. It didn't work. <laughs> even, even him talking to Gwen, like trying to be awkward, like it didn't work. He just looked like he was smoldering at her the whole time. It was like, yeah, no, you're not awkward. So yeah, I, I enjoyed his performance, though. I think he gave a lot dramatically, especially in the more high stakes moments. I think that his performance was very grounded, and I liked that. And I'll be interested to see what he does in the next movie and what the next movie is like, because I haven't seen that one in theaters. I have no clue who the villain's going to be. I have no clue what's going to happen. So it should be a fun time. But for now, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.